New at six, catastrophic financial condition. Those are the words from a grand jury report regarding the Penn Hill School District. The grand jury blames the Penn Hill School Board and district officials for poor leadership. But Pam Serrano reports it did not recommend any criminal charges, and she joins us live now with more. Pam. Yes, Susan, the grand jury report says that former board members and district leaders are to blame in part for poor decision making and poor leadership. Again, calling the financial status of the district here catastrophic. However, the current superintendent of schools here is hopeful that in part because of this grand jury report, it can be the beginning of financial recovery in Penn Hills. The schools that were built are totally different. It, they're like Taj Mahal. School board president Aaron Vecchio is talking about the new elementary and high school, part of a $140 million district project, which included this $60 million high school. There's a staircase up there we can't even use because it's deemed not safe. There's a $60,000 chandelier. Vecchio, who was not on the board during the facility's upgrade vote, finds the grand jury report incomplete. Why did you do this investigation if you were only doing it half? You know, you, you didn't indict anybody. You're, you're saying that the school board members caused this catastrophe. The long-awaited report blames the district's financial downfall on incompetence of former board members, ex-district leaders, and third-party vendors. We have political corruption out here. Every one of these uh, contracts in the school district were given to people's friends. Those construction projects, according to the grand jury report, included a politically connected architect. The findings indicate it's all part of the reason for the district's $172 million debt with the third highest tax rate in Allegheny County. Yet the current Penn Hill superintendent is hopeful about the district's new financial recovery status outlined in the findings. We're interested to hear what it might look like. We know that a, a chief recovery officer is going to be appointed. So this is kind of unprecedented. The district has had to make difficult pay freezes and furloughs of teachers of late, and Dr. Nancy Hines is hopeful no programs or extracurriculars will need to be cut next. I think that certainly anything that is not required in terms of academic programming would be vulnerable. Now, that newly named chief financial recovery officer is actually a former assistant superintendent here in Penn Hills. The current superintendent says she's extremely hopeful he will be helpful in shepherding this district of 4,000 students forward. She adds that it must survive and will. Live in Penn Hills, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.